Good morning. You are watching Keto Rewind and I'm Jess. I thought I would make a video on how to input recipes in Carb Manager. I get this question a lot. I totally get why it's kind of confusing. So I thought this little screenshot video would be a great way to help make it a little easier to understand. So first off, you're at carbmanager.com. I'm using my computer to make it you know, show up nice, <laughs> but you can do this exact same thing on your phone. So log into your account and that brings you to your main homepage. Okay, so right to the top left up here, you'll see foods. Click foods and then up here, there's a little plus mark. <laughs> Hit that button and you're going to create recipe. So this is a recipe that I've had in like, my binder for years. I have no idea who it's by, but I want to know the macros that's in it. So basically you could do keto Swedish cheesecake. And it makes eight servings. Um, and then down here for prep time, huh, I've made it so many times I can make it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, cook time around a half hour. Um, the icon, so that will show up pretty cool. Look for a cheesecake or some type of a um, dessert icon, something that represents your recipe. You can also use your like original picture. Do, 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 do. I know there's a cheesecake somewhere. <laughs> ah, that's good enough. And then because I'm doing this for you all and I'm gonna share the recipe, you can share this recipe and make it searchable by adding that button. So now here's the fun part, the ingredients in the recipe, you're going to put the total amount here. So like if you're making a casserole, if you're making something, just whipping something up, you put the entire amount here. So first off, it's eggs. So because I know my brand, I'm gonna use my brand, there it is, the first one on the list. I don't have to finish the whole word and it will come up. There are three eggs in this recipe, so I'm gonna hit add. Next, I will add the Canto Classic Sweetener. You can use any keto approved sweetener, but my favorite is Lacanto, and obviously coupon code is down below, but it's a blend of monk fruit and erythritol, and it's my favorite. So in total, I put 75 grams of that. So see it's under, right now, it's under teaspoon. So change it to grams. I like to bake and I like to use grams because it's just so much more accurate and it will calculate it. And there you go, done. Next one is cottage cheese. <clears throat> I can't remember the brand I have downstairs. I think it's... Mm, Daisy, and it's the full fat um, I think it's this one <laughs> and then I put in 400 grams Oop, that's 4,000 see we're going to change this to grams add <clears throat> the next one is heavy whipping cream And I have the Organic Valley one today. <laughs> and that would be 100 milliliters. Add. And almond flour. Actually, let's do... Kirkland, that's the brand I have. Costco for the win. <laughs> and that's 50 grams. And next we have vanilla extract. Oop, I can't spell today. <laughs> and um, five, tea five milliliters is a teaspoon, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And okay, so that's the cheesecake, but there's a topping that goes on it. So I'm going to add the topping as well. So I'm going to add heavy whipping cream again. 
and we're going to do 240 milliliters, which is a cup. And Lacanto um, Vanilla Syrup. Let's see. See, it's this one. Okay, and I put two tablespoons in there, and that's the sweetener. If you don't have um, the, the syrup, the, the Lacanto's uh, syrup, just use two tablespoons of their regular sweetener. And then a little, and a splash of vanilla. That's basically the same thing. <laughs> um, okay, so that's it. So that's all the ingredients. So you're going to go down here and you're going to put your instructions. And just to save time, I wrote it up. Um, you just, I'm copying and pasting really quick. I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> and just so that if someone's reading my recipe and wants to make it, this, um, just if they're searching on Carb Manager, you can print out this recipe and learn how to make it. So then you hit save when you're all done. Now we go look and see what it is. So I named that Keto Cheesecake. So right here, here it is in my list. And it will always be in my list. So you only have to input the recipe once. So now say it's time to have it. You can just click it up, hit one serving, and this will include everything. And you just hit add to today. Or I mean, you could put what you had in total, but I have mine set to diabetes carbs, which because it's made with sugar alcohols, the net carbs version does not compute the, neck, the sugar alcohols that leaves it in your carbs. The diabetes version does half them, so you get a little bit off. So this way, I like that margin of error. I know the, um, the sugar alcohols have zero impact on your glycemic index, but for whatever reason, Carb Manager still calculates them into your macros. So the diabetes one, um, and that is a setting that you can hit over here in settings and you can change it to diabetes carbs, total carbs or net carbs. But for me, the diabetes carbs takes half the sugar alcohols and, and puts them in for you versus the net carbs will give you all of them, which if you're like, you know, it's kind of hard to tell, <laughs> um, you know, when you have the sugar alcohols computed into your macros, it's hard to tell what is actually um, like a legitimate carb and one that should not really have too much impact. So this one I at least is accounted half for. So there you have it. That's how you, uh, and then here's the macros for that one slice of cheesecake. Um, and you can also set it up so that, you know, if you only had a half a serving or some, maybe you get 16 servings out of your cheesecake, whatever it, <laughs> that would automatically compute this and you just go in there and edit it. So that's one easy way to input a recipe that you have that you have that's like not online anywhere. I honestly have no idea where this recipe came from. It's in my stash. So, <laughs> um, um, but anyways, this way you still want to log it in and you still want to track it. And that's basically how you do it. Um, so that would be how to do it that way. And the next way would be say that you went over here. I believe this feature is only for premium version or premium upgraded users, whatever they call it, I will say it's out of, I feel like that feature alone is worth the $1.99 a month or whatever it is. I don't even know what I pay. I got it when it was on sale, but I feel like that feature alone to get all these recipes and all that stuff is worth it so much because I, I stress macros, 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 macros. So, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is say that you had a Let's see, say let's log some things that you eat all the time and you want to create a shortcut to make it a meal. So for instance, I've been doing chaffles lately. So to make this easy, <laughs> I'm just going to create this meal. So I'm going to go ahead and log in what I already have. I had one serving and then I made a cream cheese icing with it. And that's what I had. And then I had... Um, 
see, now I have to search for my other one. So let me go to my log and you can see, oh, they, they put, I put them in the wrong spot. So you can move those things. Um, you just hit the reorder button and then I'm just going to stick them in lunch <laughs> just so you can see the difference and it will give you like a summary of it and it will make it a lot easier to understand what I'm doing here. So anyways, I'm going to add, I don't have my pumpkin puree, so we're going to add it and the bees, hundred percent pure pumpkin. Here it is. So I put in one tablespoon. All right, so I have my one tablespoon. Now, this I'm calling my pumpkin chaffle. So you can go over here, this three dots, and you can put create meal. And then you can come over here and put pumpkin chaffle with cream cheese. Oh, I cannot type icing. So now if I have this, and I have it in that, you know, this is like the serve, this is how I would have it. I could just log this in. So give it a name. This is for one serving. It makes two chaffles, but I mean, you could share it with somebody or whatnot, but <laughs> um, because it's pumpkin, I'm going to use the pumpkin one just to make it easier to find on my list. And it already will have the serving size of the, imp the foods that you added. So you just hit save. So now I'm going to delete these ones and relog it. This way you can see. So, okay, so now say it's the next day and I'm having that same exact thing. <laughs> um, you hit add foods and then you go to my foods because we just added it to my thing, my food list. And I put, I think it was called, did I call it a pumpkin chaffle with cream cheese icing? I had one serving and I hit add to today. And there it is. And that recipe, if you click on it, will show you the serving sizes of what you just had. It's a total time saver. Um, you can adjust that, obviously. But being that it's a recipe I have all the time, you could do this with any type of recipe. But I'm just making this really easy for, <laughs> um, for demonstration purposes. But instead of having to log the same three things over and over again, create meals and this is based off of what you've entered and if you're measuring and tracking your macros this should be the same you know you should be having it in that same serving size so don't waste time logging it all individually create a meal and then let's see I guess that's it for now I don't want to make this too complicated but I hope that helps makes makes it easier for you to input a recipe such as like a casserole, a cheesecake, something that you found to be able to calculate the macros and also how to create meals and recipes based off of stuff you have all the time and just a time saver. So, so I don't throw my macros off for the day. <laughs> We're going to delete this because I did not have this today. Um, but seriously, track your macros, track, 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 make it easy, do time savers like that um, and enjoy. <laughs> I hope this helped, and I am Jess. You're watching Keto Rewind.